Am I recording? I can't see. Okay. Ah, uh, <laughs> gonna try something a little different. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna wear my glasses since my glasses always reflect the light. I was able to put the light over on the other side so I can be back on this side of my room. I have a very small apartment, so there's not a lot that I can do. Um, I got. Oh, I forgot to uh, take off. Hold on. I forgot to uh, cover up or remove my shipping address. <laughs> I also like to mess with the barcode. Anything that could be scanned or numbers could be gleamed. Just kind of like mess with it enough that it makes it... There you go. Even though this webcam is so crappy, I don't think anyone could really get much off of it. All right, I got a order that I did that was, this is a gift for someone. Um, my birthday is not until the summer, but I went ahead and got it anyway because it's, I paid a little more than I normally would pay for a pop, but that's only because of the limited nature of this particular thing. I didn't know what it was before. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just open it now. Uh, I ordered this, um, just within the last week, uh, on Amazon, but through a third party seller, it just so happens to be through Chalice Collectibles, it actually has their address in it, they're in California, so, um, this is how it's packaged, which is nice bubble wrap and oh this is nice they put it in a case got a chalice collectibles card it's the first time i ever got anything from chalice collectibles and put it on this side because this has their information on it there you go you can see it this is in a protector case, which means I don't have to worry about trying to find one. This is one of theirs because Chalice actually makes their own. I hear they're really good ones. This is Jollibee, or Jollibee, I don't know. Um, I've watched other YouTubers that do things like mystery boxes in particular. I mean, you're talking about people who somehow are able to s buy these $200 boxes and all these, and They'll buy them, and one in particular says how he just kind of kept getting this, and then another one was actually trying to find a Jollibee, any Jollibee, and I didn't know what in the world it was. I had no idea what Jollibee was. I thought it was like a snack company that was maybe in the Midwest or something, or West Coast or wherever, that, and the reason why I never heard of it, because it was pretty much localized to that region. Now, it's a Filipino restaurant. And the reason why I end up getting it is because I happen to know someone who's Filipino and they will be turning 50 this year. So because I kind of have in my mind that the people I know that I want to get birthday gifts for, I want to get them a pop. I already given one person whose birthday is actually today when I'm recording this, but I had to do it last week, which was the last time I was able to go over there because of the stay-at-home orders that are in effect, uh, that started, so, um, started last week, actually, so I had to go ahead and give him his gift. Her birthday's in July. I wouldn't have, even if, even if this stuff was still going all the way into July, I will still be able to get this to her because... We work at the same place. We both work at a grocery store. And yes, I work at a grocery store. So, I'm still work. I'm still working. Which I guess is good. I know there are some people who are not... There are some... I have noticed that there are some dings and stuff that are in the corners. But these are... A lot of these like little imperfections on the corners are something that you can't really um, deal with much. But this is... This is cool because she's been 
in this country now for 14, I want to say 14 years. And she has not, since she's been here, she has not gone back to her home country. So I thought this would be something nice, you know, because it's like a little reminder of her home. And I think it's worth, it, I only paid, honestly, I only paid $30. It's it's worth 26 the last I looked, so it's fine because it's free shipping. And you can see it's got a sticker. Um, it's for the 2019 Philippine Independence Day exclusive. And... Um, it says on the back, Pinoy and Proud. Kind of would have been cool if this was number 51, but it's, I mean number 50, but it's 51. But yeah, this is, this, this I specifically ordered. Um, I wasn't going to try to risk getting a, if there was a mystery box that was going to come with one of these and hope that I get it. I'm just going to go ahead and just directly order it. This would be... I, I didn't know what to get her. I don't know what to get her. So, I, I, the pop thing was just going to be kind of like, what did I get her? So, I was actually, I actually Google searched Filipino pops. And I found this kept showing up. And I thought that it was just because it's in this, what's called a Philippine barong. Which I guess is the, uh, mangle it that I can't see very well, by the way. But, yeah, I'll do it this way. The, uh, the, the suit that he's wearing. Uh, I'm telling you, it's hard to do this when I'm looking at the... I'm looking at my computer screen, and my computer screen has the flipped image. So it makes it hard for me to try to figure out where I am. Although I'm guessing I'm seeing it the way it's I'm seeing the way it's supposed to look, but y you know you're used to when you're looking in a mirror you're used to it do actually being the flipped image so that you know where your hand is and everything. When you're looking at yourself on a computer monitor that is looking at you, you're seeing it as everyone else would see it because that's how yeah. So that's why sometimes my hand's in the wrong spot. And I kind of get it in the wrong side. And this is just crazy. Seven months. But yeah, I got this. Uh, I gotta wrap this up. And it's good that it's in a case because I don't have any more cases. Anyway, I Google searched Filipino pops. And I thought that just because this was in this suit, this kind of outfit that I thought that. I didn't know what it was, so I, I ended up just looking it up, and I'm like, oh, it's a Filipino restaurant, and there's actually some in the United States. Um, not in the state I live in. You gotta go one state over to, to find one. So, I'm guessing it's about a three and a half, four hour drive to get to the closest one if you wanted, if you really wanted to go to one. But, yeah. Uh, there was also a superhero called Darno, which looks almost like Wonder Woman, but a, a scantily clad Wonder Woman, I should say. Um, apparently it was a character that they made to be, like, a female Superman. I don't know. <laughs> and they had three myth creatures, and I was like, no, nah, I'm not gonna do that one. So I think this one worked out better. The Darno, I found a Darno that was cheaper. That would have been $5 cheaper to get, but this felt more safer because, like I said, the Darna was more scantily clad, and I don't know whether or not she even cares too much about superheroes, even if it is a comic book character that was made in the Philippines. But food she likes! And plus, I texted my half-sister who uh, confirmed that they have actually drove to one of these. Which meant they did drive about four hours. I don't know if they were... They might have been going somewhere else. And there just happens to be one on the way. It could have been that, but... This is better. Alright. Uh, so just stay safe. Um, practice common sense. 
Uh, like I said, I work at a grocery store, and one of the things that can be very helpful now is if you do find yourself in a position of needing groceries, you reach a point where you absolutely need groceries. Yes, it's an essential. You're able to go out to get groceries still. Can you please, please just send one person per household? We have to try to minimize how many people are in the store. At some point, they're going to just... Walmart's already doing it. Walmart is already going to minimize and limit how many people can go into the store. And people... Here's the people. you got to understand. They're going to keep increasing restrictions. Because right now, they're trying to be nice. They're just hoping people will just understand it and show some common sense and just follow through what people recommend. As long as people don't listen... They're going to keep pushing more restrictions, and they're going to make everyone's life hell. So do yourself a favor. Do everyone else a favor. Do grocery workers a huge favor. Send one person in to get groceries. You do not need your whole crew of five people to get groceries. There is an exception. Single mothers, I do understand. You may not be able to get anyone to watch your babies. That's fine. That is understandable. That's an exception to this thing. But if you have a teenager, the teenager can stay home. The teenager can stay home. Just let them play video games at home. What is wrong with playing video games? I mean, everyone, you have a license to be lazy right now. Use it. Just use it for good. For good of mankind. Just be lazy. Okay, that's it. Bye.